Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Quick toss. They can't connect. Incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. From their own 28-yard line, third down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Tackle at the 36-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Makes it to the 41. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. He's on the run. Brought down around the 20-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fulton makes the tackle at the 15-yard line. First down. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. One-yard loss for the halfback. And they make the stop at about the 11. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Level at the 18. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Florida is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Pearson is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Got an opening. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some tools. They blocked very well up front. Create the holes for this back. From their own 45-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He sails it long. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Throws complete. He's got room to work. 
He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. out to his wide out and he shoved out of bounds at the 14 yard line that makes it seven and six. defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime package finds a man touchdown And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-3. York ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. goes at the 26. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 22. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Got a man. He can't complete the play. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sidelines, and now they get the ball back. Townsend to punt. at the 50-yard line. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. LSU is up four. There's a strike complete. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it here in five. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Swain back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
LSU's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 18-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll bring up third and four. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. The screen is good for four. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. LSU is up by four. Runs right for a nice game. Burrow picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And now he's got room to run. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. Fires it out. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's hit immediately. the 30. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 30. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. LSU holds a four-point lead. Go. Go. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the two-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-3, Tigers.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Brought down just outside the goal line. This is the 10th play of this drive. the PAT. A 10 play, 59 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. It's fielded at the two. He's taken down at the 24 yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He throws a dart to the right. Got it to the senior. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Florida. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He makes the PAT. McPherson looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up four. Got him. And he goes down quickly. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Tackle made at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line. It's second down. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the ball. That makes it third and three. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 28. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. LSU is up by four. 
tackle that side after a nice pickup. Catches it, and that's all. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. He's on the receiving end for another score. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he converts the extra point. York has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Nice run there. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. And they get nice yardage on that run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's taken down at the 40. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From the 40-yard line, second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He sails it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. The punt goes out of bounds of the four-yard line. The Tigers are sitting pretty now after getting out to that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. 
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 20. He makes his way out to about the 25. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 49. Tackled after a decent pickup. Sack for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Booming kick. Swain takes it at the 12. Tackle at the 23. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He's going to go for the home run. And it's caught to the 20, the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he adds the extra point. Florida kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line.
from their own 46-yard line. First down. LSU holds a four-point lead. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. down and they need to get it inside the 44. He delivers. Makes the grab and steps out right away. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. From the 35-yard line, first down. Throws it deep. He's got it. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. York has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. He's out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 34. Tackled at about the 29-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Guns it across the middle. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Pearson ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. He scrambled. Brought down at the 38-yard line. The defender wanted a head start, and they certainly got him for it. Still first down. Well, we played a half of football. The Tigers lead it by four.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Tigers have the advantage right now, but not a ton of separation in this game. Not as much as we might have anticipated, but there were signs that there might be a little bigger gap coming in the second half. It felt like they took the opponent's best punch and they were perfectly fine with it. It felt like they had plenty more in the tank and I looked to see in the second half them continuing to exert themselves. They found some plays I think that they can come back to in the second half They're gonna, that are going to work. I look for them to really open up this lead in the second half. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. LSU is up four. Tackle made right around the 34. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He might have a chance. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the five-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run, it's now first and goal. Now he's scrambling. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. hit immediately in the backfield. No that makes it third third From the one-yard line, third down. Touchdown, Tigers! He hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. York gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of six on the That'll make it second and four. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Third and eight. Ball on their own 27. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. the snap. He 
gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He's got the corner. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. And for Burrow, what a night it's been. Well, I can remember back when he was a freshman, he always had the raw physical ability and makeup. But I think the area that he's improved the most is he's become a real student of the game. Now he understands where to go with the football at all times. And anybody watching this game who thinks his quarterback is simply a running quarterback, better take note because he's proven here today that he can also throw the football. He'll look to tack on another score here and really create some distance. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. That brings them second and five. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Makes the grab and out of bounds. From the 49 yard line, it's second down. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Out of bounds, right around the 42 yard line. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up. Well, they leave three points on the field there. So the score is still LSU 35, Florida 24. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. That's good for the end of the game. That brings up second and nine. They try the right side. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. That makes it first and ten. And they make the stop around the 32 yard line. Intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 14-yard line, it's first down. Going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Hey, hey, here, here I come. Here I come. Red two. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. It's third and five. Ball on their own 19. Stays 
steps out of bounds right around the 24 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Swain back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled the 37 yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 36. And he's taken down at the 33. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Pounds it to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And they got him for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Leaps. Picked off. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From the 42-yard line, first down. Inside handoff, and he tackles him hard at the 41. Wants to throw outside. Oh, what an interception. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Right 
the senior makes the catch. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Again with a carry. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 32. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Looking for six. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Tigers' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in the game. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 38-24, LSU. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gets out to about the 31. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Hands it to the back. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. First down. He lets it fly. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Brought down at about the 45. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Five, 
sets up the 42 yard line. First down. Steal that. Steal that. Good outside run there. That's a deep cut on the road. That brings him to the bottom. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. The ten gets out to around the nine. That makes it first and goal. Some open field. Touchdown, Gators. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. For Florida, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. They also have that one takeaway. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Yeah, pretty decent average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. A score here might effectively end this one. LSU is up a score. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Going deep. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. He's got an opening. He gets to about the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. They give to the tailback. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Caught by the sophomore. He's taken down at the 49. Seven yards there. Well, the defense decided to sit back in zone. And anytime you're a quarterback and you see zone, you want to get rid of the ball quickly if a man is open on that slant route because it could go for a big play. But the defense does a good job of keeping it in check and making the tackle. They'll line it up again on third down. for a loss. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets it away. and This is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. 
So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Caught, and he's hit immediately. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He wants it all. Almost picked off. Waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. LSU is up seven. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange three. Here we go. They make the stop at the 39. First and 10, all on the 39 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. He's tackled at about the 21. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. A little over a minute in the game. And he's level at the 19. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. From the 19-yard line, third down. Makes it out to about the 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. From the 12-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 38-31, LSU.
As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Florida had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.